Best Places to Visit Zimbabwe Zimbabwe is a country in southern Africa known for its stunning landscapes, rich wildlife, and vibrant culture. Here are some of the best places to visit in Zimbabwe. Victoria Falls, one of the most famous natural wonders of the world, Victoria Falls is a must-visit. The town of Victoria Falls offers a range of activities, including helicopter rides over the falls, bungee jumping from the Victoria Falls Bridge, and sunset cruises on the Zambezi River. Wangay National Park, this is Zimbabwe's largest national park and is known for its diverse wildlife, including elephants, lions, and a variety of bird species. Game drives and guided walks are popular ways to explore the park. Mana Pools National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Mana Pools is renowned for its scenic beauty and the opportunity for canoeing safaris along the Zambezi River. The park is home to a variety of wildlife, including hippos, crocodiles, and a wide range of bird species. Great Zimbabwe, this archaeological site is the remains of an ancient city built in the 11th century. The Great Zimbabwe Ruins are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and offer a fascinating glimpse into the country's history and architecture. Matobo National Park, known for its unique rock formations, Matobo National Park is also a haven for rhinoceros and a wide variety of bird species. The park is a great place for hiking, rock climbing, and exploring ancient sand rock art. Eastern Highlands, this mountainous region offers stunning landscapes, including rolling hills, waterfalls, and lush forests. Nyanga National Park and Vumba Botanical Gardens are popular attractions in this area. Bulawayo, Zimbabwe's second largest city, Bulawayo has a rich history and is home to several interesting museums including the National Museum and the Railway Museum. The city also serves as a gateway to Matobo National Park. Lake Kariba, this massive artificial lake on the Zambezi River is a popular destination for fishing, boat cruises, and wildlife viewing. Kariba also has several houseboat options for those looking for a unique accommodation experience. Chinhoyi Caves, known for their deep blue pools, the Chinhoyi Caves offer a unique underground experience. The caves are popular among divers and those seeking a different kind of adventure. Gonorejo National Park, located in the southeast of the country, Gonorejo is part of the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park, which also includes parks in South Africa and Mozambique. It's a remote and less visited park, offering a wilderness experience with a variety of wildlife. When visiting Zimbabwe, it's essential to check the current travel conditions and safety recommendations. Additionally, consider the best time to visit based on your interests, as Zimbabwe has a diverse range of ecosystems and experiences to offer throughout the year. Nature of Zimbabwe Zimbabwe is a country with diverse and captivating natural landscapes, encompassing everything from majestic waterfalls to expansive savannas. Here are some key aspects of the nature of Zimbabwe. Victoria Falls, one of the most iconic natural features in the world, Victoria Falls is a breathtaking waterfall located on the Zambezi River. The falls form the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia, and the surrounding area is characterized by lush vegetation and a variety of wildlife. Savannas and grasslands, much of Zimbabwe's landscape consists of vast savannas and grasslands, home to a rich array of wildlife. National parks and game reserves, such as Wangay and Gonorejo, provide opportunities for safari adventures where visitors can encounter elephants, lions, giraffes, and numerous other species. Mountains and highlands, the eastern highlands, bordering Mozambique, are characterized by mountainous terrain, deep valleys, and dense forests. Mount Nyangani is Zimbabwe's highest peak, offering stunning views and opportunities for trekking and hiking. Zambezi River, the Zambezi River, one of Africa's major waterways, flows through the northern part of Zimbabwe. 
It not only contributes to the spectacular Victoria Falls but also provides opportunities for water-based activities such as canoeing and boat safaris. Kariba Dam and Lake Kariba, Lake Kariba, one of the world's largest man-made lakes, was created by the damming of the Zambezi River. The lake is surrounded by rugged landscapes and is known for its houseboat cruises, fishing, and wildlife, including hippos and crocodiles. Matobo Hills, this area in southern Zimbabwe is known for its unique granite rock formations. The Matobo Hills are also home to a diverse range of plant and animal life, including the elusive black rhinoceros. The hills have spiritual and historical significance, with ancient San Rock art scattered throughout the region. Chinhoi Caves, the Chinhoi Caves, located northwest of Harare, are a geological wonder with deep blue pools. The caves attract cave divers and nature enthusiasts and offer a unique underground experience. Flora and Fauna, Zimbabwe boasts a rich diversity of flora and fauna. The country is home to numerous species of birds, including eagles and vultures, as well as a variety of mammals, such as elephants, buffaloes, and antelopes. National Parks and Reserves Zimbabwe has several national parks and reserves that showcase its natural beauty and biodiversity. In addition to Wange and Ganarejo, other notable parks include Mana Pools, Kazama Pan, and Matusadona. The nature of Zimbabwe is a draw for outdoor enthusiasts, adventure seekers, and wildlife lovers, offering a wide range of experiences from thrilling safaris to serene landscapes. The country's commitment to conservation is evident in its efforts to preserve and protect its natural heritage. Foods of Zimbabwe Zimbabwean cuisine is a reflection of the country's diverse cultural influences and agricultural practices. The cuisine features a variety of flavorful dishes, often incorporating locally grown ingredients. Here are some traditional foods of Zimbabwe. Sadza, also known as pap, Nishima, or Ugali and other African countries, sadza is a staple food in Zimbabwe. It is a stiff porridge made from maize, corn, meal and is often served as an accompaniment to meat, vegetables, or sauces. Nyama, Nyama means meat, and it's a significant part of Zimbabwean cuisine. Grilled or barbecued meat, often with a flavorful marinade, is popular. Common meats include beef, chicken, goat, and game meat. Biltong, biltong is a type of dried and cured meat, usually beef or game meat. It's a popular snack in Zimbabwe and is often seasoned with a mixture of spices like coriander and pepper. Vegetables, Zimbabwean cuisine features a variety of vegetables, including leafy greens like collard greens, known as sukuma wiki, spinach, and pumpkin leaves. These are often cooked with onions, tomatoes, and spices. Pumpkin fritters, dovi, dovi are deep-fried pumpkin fritters, often served as a snack or appetizer. They can be sweet or savory, depending on the seasoning and accompaniments. Mopane worms, mopane worms are caterpillars that are commonly eaten in Zimbabwe. They are rich in protein and are usually dried or smoked before being cooked. They are often enjoyed as a crunchy snack or added to stews. Kaimodo, Kaimodo is a traditional Zimbabwean dish made with boiled and fermented whole maize kernels. It has a sour taste and is often served with vegetables, meat, or fish. Peppered kapenta, kapenta are small, dried fish that are a popular snack or side dish. They are often marinated in a spicy pepper sauce before being fried. Dovi, peanut stew, dovi is a traditional peanut stew made with meat, usually chicken or beef, vegetables, and ground peanuts. It's a hearty and flavorful dish often served with sadza. Chibaj, pumpkin, pumpkin is a versatile ingredient used in Zimbabwean cuisine. It can be boiled, roasted, or mashed and is often served as a side dish or used in stews. Mahiwu, Mahiwu is a traditional fermented beverage made from maize. 
It's a non-alcoholic drink that is both nutritious and refreshing. Mau, Mau is a traditional drink made from fermented grains, usually maize or millet. It is a non-alcoholic beverage with a thick, porridge-like consistency and is often flavored with sugar and spices. These are just a few examples of the diverse and flavorful foods that make up Zimbabwean cuisine. The country's culinary traditions are shaped by its history, geography, and the rich cultural diversity of its people. People of Zimbabwe The people of Zimbabwe, also known as Zimbabweans, are diverse in terms of ethnicity, culture, and language. Zimbabwe has a population with a rich history, influenced by various ethnic groups and historical events. Here are some key aspects of the people of Zimbabwe. Ethnic groups. The majority of Zimbabweans belong to one of the two main ethnic groups, the Shona and the Indivele. The Shona people are the largest ethnic group and are further divided into subgroups such as the Zazaru, Karanga, Manyika, and others. The Indivele people, also known as the Matabil, are the second largest ethnic group. Languages. The official languages of Zimbabwe are English, Shona, and Sindabel, Indibele. English is used in official and educational contexts, while Shona and Sindabel are widely spoken by the respective ethnic groups. There are also several other minority languages spoken by different communities. Cultural diversity, Zimbabwe is home to a rich tapestry of cultures, each with its own traditions, music, dance, and rituals. Traditional ceremonies and festivals are important aspects of Zimbabwean culture, providing opportunities for communities to celebrate their heritage. Urban and rural life, the majority of Zimbabweans live in rural areas, where agriculture plays a central role in their livelihoods. However, urbanization has been increasing, particularly in cities like Harare, the capital, Bulawayo, and Mutare. Urban areas are centers of commerce, industry, and education. Traditional beliefs and religion, while Christianity is widely practiced in Zimbabwe, traditional African beliefs and practices also persist. Many Zimbabweans integrate elements of both Christianity and traditional spirituality into their religious practices. Education, Zimbabwe places a strong emphasis on education, and literacy rates have traditionally been relatively high. The country has a well-established education system with primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions. Historical struggles, the people of Zimbabwe have faced historical struggles, including the colonial period when the region was known as Rhodesia. The country gained independence from British colonial rule in 1980, and the liberation struggle played a significant role in shaping the nation's identity. Economic challenges, in recent years, Zimbabwe has faced economic challenges, including hyperinflation and political instability. These challenges have had a significant impact on the daily lives of the people, affecting employment, access to basic services, and overall well-being. Resilience and hospitality, despite the challenges, Zimbabweans are known for their resilience and hospitality. Visitors often note the warmth and friendliness of the people, and there is a strong sense of community in both rural and urban settings. Diaspora, a significant number of Zimbabweans live in the diaspora, particularly in countries such as South Africa, the United Kingdom, and Australia. Migration has been influenced by various factors, including economic opportunities and political circumstances. Understanding the diverse and dynamic nature of the people of Zimbabwe involves recognizing the historical, cultural, and social factors that contribute to the country's identity. Wedding life in Zimbabwe Wedding traditions and customs in Zimbabwe are diverse and often reflect the cultural and ethnic backgrounds of the couples involved. While there are variations based on factors such as region, religion, and personal preferences, here are some common elements of wedding life in Zimbabwe. Traditional ceremonies, many Zimbabwean weddings include traditional ceremonies that hold cultural significance. 
These ceremonies may vary among ethnic groups but often involve rituals, dances, and the exchange of symbolic items. For example, the Shona people may have ceremonies like Rura or Lobola, which involve the groom's family paying a bride price to the bride's family. White wedding, in addition to traditional ceremonies, many couples in Zimbabwe also opt for a Western-style white wedding. These weddings often take place in churches and follow Christian customs. The bride typically wears a white wedding gown, and the ceremony is officiated by a pastor or priest. Attire, traditional attire plays a significant role in Zimbabwean weddings. For the white wedding, the bride often wears a Western-style wedding gown, while the groom may wear a suit. In traditional ceremonies, couples may wear cultural attire that reflects their heritage, with intricate beadwork, colors, and patterns. Ceremony and Vows Wedding ceremonies in Zimbabwe, whether traditional or Western, involve the exchange of vows and rings. Couples may recite personal vows or use traditional ones. The exchange of rings is a symbol of commitment and unity. Feasting and Celebrations Weddings in Zimbabwe are often celebrated with feasts and lively festivities. Food is an essential part of the celebration, and traditional dishes, as well as modern favorites, are served. Music, dance, and entertainment are integral to the celebration, creating a joyful atmosphere. Guests and Community Involvement Zimbabwean weddings are often community events, and extended family and friends play a crucial role. Guests are invited to witness and participate in the celebration, and their presence is considered a blessing to the couple. Bridal parties, similar to Western weddings, Zimbabwean weddings often have bridal parties consisting of bridesmaids, groomsmen, flower girls, and ring bearers. These individuals play specific roles in supporting and accompanying the bride and groom. Gifts and blessings, guests typically bring gifts for the couple, ranging from household items to monetary gifts. Blessings and well wishes are shared during the ceremony and the reception. Dowry and bride price, in some Zimbabwean cultures, the concept of dowry or bride price is observed. This involves the groom or his family presenting gifts or payment to the bride's family as a gesture of appreciation and respect. Post-wedding rituals, after the wedding ceremony, there may be post-wedding rituals or customs, depending on the cultural background of the couple. These may include blessings from elders or additional celebrations with close family. It's important to note that Zimbabwe is a diverse country with various ethnic groups, and wedding traditions can vary widely. Additionally, urbanization and globalization have led to a blend of traditional and modern elements in many Zimbabwean weddings. Couples often incorporate aspects from both Western and traditional ceremonies to create a unique and meaningful celebration. U. Beaches in Zimbabwe. Chat GPT. Zimbabwe is a landlocked country, which means it does not have any coastal areas, and therefore, it does not have traditional beaches along the coastline. However, the country is not devoid of water attractions. There are lakes, rivers, and dams where visitors can enjoy water-based activities and scenic landscapes. Here are some notable water destinations in Zimbabwe. Lake Kariba, while not a traditional beach, Lake Kariba is a massive artificial lake formed by the damming of the Zambezi River. The lake is a popular destination for houseboat cruises, fishing, and other water-based activities. The shores of Lake Kariba offer scenic views and opportunities to enjoy the tranquility of the water. Matusadona National Park, located on the shores of Lake Kariba, Matusadona National Park is a wildlife-rich area known for its diverse ecosystems. Visitors can take boat safaris on the lake to spot animals such as elephants, hippos, and crocodiles. Eastern Highlands, while not a beach destination, the Eastern Highlands feature picturesque landscapes with rivers and waterfalls. Areas like Nyanga and Vumba offer opportunities for hiking, bird watching, and enjoying the scenic beauty of the highlands. Monharenji Dam, 
Located near the city of Mutare, Monharenji Dam is a reservoir surrounded by hills and lush greenery. It provides a serene setting for picnics and outdoor activities. Imire Game Park This private game park is not a beach destination, but it offers the chance to experience wildlife in a conservation setting. Imire Game Park is known for its rhino conservation efforts and provides opportunities for guided walks and game drives. While Zimbabwe may not have traditional beaches, its inland water features and natural landscapes offer unique and beautiful experiences for those who appreciate nature and outdoor activities. Visitors can enjoy the tranquility of lakes, rivers, and dams, as well as explore the diverse wildlife and ecosystems that make Zimbabwe a captivating destination. U. Night Life in Zimbabwe. Chat GPT. Zimbabwe has a vibrant nightlife scene, especially in urban areas like Harare and Bulawayo. The nightlife in Zimbabwe offers a mix of entertainment options, including bars, clubs, live music venues, and cultural events. Here are some aspects of the nightlife in Zimbabwe. Bars and pubs, urban centers, particularly in Harare, feature a variety of bars and pubs. These establishments offer a relaxed atmosphere for socializing, enjoying drinks, and sometimes dancing. Popular areas like Borodale and Avondale in Harare have a concentration of bars that cater to different tastes. Nightclubs The nightlife in Zimbabwe includes energetic nightclubs where people can dance to a mix of local and international music. DJs often play a range of genres, from Afrobeat and reggae to pop and electronic dance music. Some popular nightclubs are located in Harare, and they may host themed nights or special events. Live music venues, Zimbabwe has a rich musical heritage, and live music is a significant part of the nightlife. Many venues host live performances, showcasing local and international artists. Styles of music range from traditional Zimbabwean genres like Afro jazz to contemporary and fusion sounds. Cultural shows, some establishments in Zimbabwe host cultural shows that feature traditional music, dance, and performances. These shows provide visitors with a chance to experience the country's diverse cultural heritage. Restaurants and cafes, while not exclusively part of the nightlife, Restaurants and cafes often stay open late, providing a more relaxed setting for socializing. Some establishments feature live music or themed nights to enhance the dining experience. Casinos, in certain urban areas, there are casinos that offer entertainment options beyond gambling. These venues often host live performances, including music and comedy shows, adding to the overall nightlife experience. Special events and festivals, Zimbabwe hosts various events and festivals throughout the year that contribute to the nightlife scene. These may include music festivals, food and drink events, and cultural celebrations.